Hi everybody, welcome to Pedro's Happy Place. Today I wanted to pop on for a few minutes and let you know what's been going on the last couple days. <clears throat> As some of you have watched a previous video, the last one I did, I showed that Mr. Happy got me a book. And I was so thrilled with that book. And I was so happy. I'm thinking, okay, now i got to find some more yarn to make, <laughs> to make another afghan. Um, but I came home. I was good. I didn't stop anywhere. Um, I did stop in, in Walmart, though, this morning to check and see if they had some more of that orchid yarn. He was unboxing an entire box, and I stood there waiting, and I said, could you look? He said, I'm unboxing Lion Brand, not Red Heart. Oh, so they didn't get any Red Heart in today. I have to keep checking, though, because I think he knows that I'm, gonna, I'm wanting that, but I don't think he'll remember to come and let me know. So, anyway, yesterday... On my way home from work, I stopped at my P.O. box, and I got a little happy mail. Yay! And it was very sweet. Crochet Moth for Life sent me a beautiful Thanksgiving card. Isn't that pretty? I got the best friends, I'm telling you what. Pretty. It's my very first Thanksgiving card of the year, and it very well might be my last one, but that's okay. I, I'm gonna, that makes it even more special. So, yesterday I decided I wanted to do a little crocheting, so I whipped up this baby. <laughs> For those of you that were on my um, Facebook page, you saw that Enid posted a picture of this and I got on right away and I whipped it up. Isn't it pretty? It's pretty. I'll leave it on. I know it doesn't go with my outfit but I just have to think. I think it's pretty. Okay so then I, fi I finished it up this morning and I thought maybe of wearing it but I decided against it. So then I got another surprise today. Mr. Happy came in, went to Half Price Books, and got me not one, not two, but three books. Two of them are crochet books. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Everything in this book is pink and it says um, it has 26 patterns to crochet for comfort gratitude and charity basically it's for the month of October for a breast cancer awareness month and there is everything in here from from mug cozy to look at that a book pretty bookmark Um, some slippers, slipper socks, let's see what else, socks and wrist warmers, ooh, I've got to make myself those, aren't those pretty, wrist warmers, yeah, I had on some wrist warmers today, but I realized after wearing them in the frigid temperatures, that I want to make another pair, obviously purple, to go with my new coat, to go further up my arm so that they don't end here, but that they'll come all, you know, further up to my elbow. And the ones I have now end right here before the fingers, but I think I'm going to make them longer so that I can just get my fingertips exposed so that I can still use the tips of my fingers but not my, I mean, I want to keep my fingers as warm as possible. So I have to make myself some new ones. Um, look at this. Look at that cute little hat. And, oh, look at this one. A little slouchy hat with some 
furry, furry kind of. I haven't even looked at to see how difficult any of these are, but look at that. Well, that's on the cover. See that? Isn't that pretty? Anyway, I'm going to have fun come this fall, or excuse me, come probably spring. Look at that. This is an interesting, it's a boa. Look at that. That's different. That's really different. Not sure how that's made, but anyway, it's got some really cute patterns in it. Looking forward to that. And then he got me this one. Look at that. How beautiful. The Crochet Stitch Handbook. And I'm opening it up. And just to show you, here's, here's how it's written out. And I'm thinking it kind of looks like the same setup as the Crochet Stitch Bible. Let's see here. Betty. Let's see. Yeah, probably because it's the same book. <laughs> they must have relabeled it from the. It must have been originally the Crochet Bible, and they must have relabeled it the handbook. If I had my glasses on, I'd be able to tell you when the publishing date was. Let me see here. Mm, I can't read it. Oh, 2002 was the latest publication of this. And the latest publication of this is... You know, you would have thought I would have looked this up first. Well, that says 2004. So I'm not sure. But I tell you what, my sweetheart got me this one, so I'm keeping this one. I love it. How many does it have in here? I don't even think it has a number of how many. A ton. A ton, a ton. Oh, this is really cool. Has a place in here. Um, import approximate equivalent hook sizes. It's kind of light. Can't really read it. But it talks about different yarns, basic stitches. Really, really cool. So, here's what I'm going to do. I have this one here, and I got it bargain priced for a little less than $10. I'm going to give this to somebody. If you want this, and you're in the United States, I hate to do that, but it is a heavy book. Let me know in the comment section below. Okay? All right. Now the third book he got me, not crochet related, but my man knows me. Look at that. Jane Austen, her life, her times, her novel, novels. I love Jane Austen. I love that era, the Regency era, I love it. Um, this talks about, I mean, look at this color illustrations. It has, um, look at that, what her actual man taken from her actual manuscripts. I mean, this is amazing talking about her books. Um, actual people. I mean, this is going to be so much fun. Then it talks about her, like this is about Emma. This whole section is about the, the book Emma, who happens to be one of my favorite uh, characters, uh, female characters. I think I like her better than um, 
she ranks right up there with Elizabeth, um, excuse me, yeah, Lizzie Bennet and Anne Elliot. Yeah, anyway, good stuff. And to tell you how much I love Jane Austen, I have an entire shelf dedicated to all of my Jane Austen books. And in the editing of this video, we're going to put it right here. Okay. So, I was so happy to see those books that Mr. Happy brought. So, um, a couple quick things. Number one, I want to remind you about the Facebook group. Put in uh, your four pictures for the month. I'm going to have that drawing at the end of the month for a giveaway. Also, um, I'm still getting names of everybody want, that wants to do a Christmas ornament swap, either 2D or 3D, depending on how, you know, how much you can send. And if you want to send to, or if you're able to send to a, um, you know, overseas, to either to Canada or overseas. So, <clears throat> that's that. If you want to be included in that, please put it in the comment section below, and I will start putting a list together. I am also going to um, uh, continue adding this list for the gingham blanket. So, um, I'm going to be doing a Zoom. I figured out how to do it. And as soon as I set that up, we are going to do a Zoom about the gingham blanket. But that's going to be in, in January. I want to do, before then, um, a Zoom um, and doing something. What, what was it that I was going to do? Somebody had asked me how to do a, a certain stitch or a certain pattern, and I wanted to do a Zoom about helping read patterns. So, <clears throat> that series that I had started about um, the pattern highlight, give me just a couple days to get that set up and decide when we're going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, when I'll be able to do the Zoom, and I will let you know here, and I will also post it on the Facebook page. That way, everybody can come that wants to join in. So, I think that's about it. Um, if you have any questions about anything I covered today, please let me know in the comments section. And I am going to try to link, since they are newer books, I'm going to find these on Amazon and put a link in the description box uh, where you can find them yourself and I will update you on if I do any of those patterns. For now, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Remember, Jesus is life. Yarn is my happiness and my passion. Have a great evening. Bye.